hello and welcome to Ren and Friends Psychic Talk Radio. I'm your hostess, psychic medium, Mary Beth Ren. It is Wednesday Night Live, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 o'clock Pacific. I am broadcasting from my home in Kannapolis, North Carolina, and I'm kind of noticing that I, I just literally ran from a business meeting at we what a store we call The Frog, but it's Really, it's a yogurt bar. It's called Sweet Frog, but we call it The Frog. And so, like I said, I'm broadcasting live at my studio, hence the wacky packages in the back. <laughs> you got to laugh at life, man. Anyhow, I want to give a quick shout out to Tabitha in Tennessee. Tabitha, I will be joining you very shortly on Xbox Live as we will explore the war mind of D2. And if anybody has no idea what I'm talking about. We are gamers, and we like to play the Destiny for Two program or game, even though it's a little grindy, we know. But uh, Tabitha, I'll be joining you shortly. And, of course, Shelby, who is right now in the chat room at Ask One Radio Network, fielding your questions. And if you want to find out about how to get a reading with me, or find out about events that I might be putting on or going on or hosting or, or being invited to, just go to the Ask One Radio Network chat room, talk to Shelby. She's under my icon, I understand. Or you can go to www.marybethren.com. That's W-E, I can't spell my last name, W-R-E-N-N. I told you, Shelby, there's something in the yogurt. <laughs> as soon as I started eating the salted caramel chocolate vanilla with all types of treats on it, my mind went kaput. So, oh, anyway, um, allergies are driving me nuts in North Carolina. Let's see. We have uh, events. Oh, no, no, shocking. I don't have an event this weekend. Yay. Um I just booked another messages from the other side gallery in July. June 23rd, for all those listening, I'm sold out. So Edson Davidson, sold out. Um, June, July 28th, seven seats left. That might sell out too. I mean, it will. It's not might. I, I sell these really limited seating galleries, so it ups the chances for people making the connection. Uh, sometimes I get galleries of 65 plus people or 100 and something people. And obviously the, the lower, it, it lower the chances for getting a connection. So what I do with these really small events and 14 seats total, and we have a lot of fun. So a quick shout out to all the people who were in last week's gallery. And a quick news announcement, but the book, The Good Morning, and that's good morning, M-O-U-R-I-N-G, like morning of grief. Good morning. The good morning book will be available in approximately three weeks. I'm so sorry, guys. I have allergies. So uh, that will be available on the website. And we will also be making a special push for uh, pre-sales. So again, make sure you're on the newsletter. Check the website call my office, Google. I'm all over the map. <laughs> anyway, you know what? Enough about me. Let's get into the good stuff. You. Tonight, I want to bring to the microphone, we have got Ruth in Dublin, Ireland. Boy, you're staying up late. Hello. Good evening. Good morning to you in Dublin. How are you? How's it going? Oh, fantastic. It's what? Uh, let's see. Plus five, plus eight, one o'clock in the morning-ish? Yes, it's after one. Yes, it's after one. Happy Thursday. <laughs> Happy Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you, Ruth? Uh, I just I just would love a reading, really, to be honest. Um, I'd love to hear from somebody in particular um, that passed away uh, yep. a long time ago now. Okay, say no more for me, okay? As a medium, yeah. I don't really need much information from the living other than 
you would like to make a connection to the other side. I have a very strong okay. impression of a masculine energy to you. In fact, it was so strong, I thought maybe you had broken up with someone. So that's why when you said, well, I'd like to make a connection to someone on the other side, I immediately am going to this masculine energy. However, I do feel like I want to acknowledge your mom. Now, your mom may still be alive, but for some reason... Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this masculine energy is pulling towards your mother. And so I, that makes me think that maybe it's not a boyfriend, maybe it's a brother. Unless your boyfriend loved your mom just like she loved him like her own son, okay? Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. Now, I feel like I'm supposed to say to you the, the name Ken, K-E-N. It could be Kenneth, Ken, uh, something that rhymes with Ken, Ben. I'm, I'm pushing on that. But... I want to say a K. Kenneth, Ken, Kyle, Chris, K. I got a K sound. Uh, okay. That I don't want you to, to expose your middle name. I mean, not last name, so don't say that. But I feel like I still have to acknowledge the K sound to the man that I'm speaking with. Now, I feel like this is a loss that seemed quick. And I hope that doesn't mean he was murdered or it was a suicide, but it feels to me as if it had been a, um, I get a heavy sadness energy to it. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Does this make sense to you? Why do I want to tell you to stop smoking? Oh. Did this man get on your case about smoking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, got news for you. Even from the other side, they're haunting you. Stop smoking. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I feel like that was an issue with you. I mean, issue with him. Uh, and I now want to say to you the age of 53, 5'3", five, unless May 3rd or March 5th is a date okay. to him. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now... As I'm looking for a message from him because what he's doing with me is he's establishing who he is to you or establishing who he is to me. All right. So in other words, I'm meeting him for the first time on the other side. Okay. Uh, I, 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 look, this sounds weird, but I feel like I have to say Baskerville. What, the Hounds of Baskerville? What is that? Uh, I, yeah, an old novel in the mystery world. But uh, could it be Basketville? Baskerville? What is with the B-A-N? No, um, Basket or something. I, I, I know you're, you're saying it, you don't want me to tell you too much, but I think um, it's my grandfather. Okay. Why and do you say that? The K, the K related to him would be my grandmother, who's also passed, is... Um, Kathleen. Okay. Now, I feel like I have and to he say... And he loves to watch horror movies. Oh, okay. Hounds of Baskerville is an ancient classic. Uh, yeah. Like a spooky, more like a an intellectual horror movie instead of a chop them and sh chop them and slop them or you yeah, kill them, we chill them. Yeah, Okay. Uh, now... I also want to say that this man is connected to your mom, so I feel it's a, a, a maternal grandfather, or that I feel like I have to acknowledge your mother. Yeah, it's her father. Hmm. I still feel like I'm supposed to acknowledge your mom for some reason. Uh, so I, I feel like the message is going to your mom. Okay. And I feel like they're saying to her, you were the beloved daughter we didn't have. I hope you understand this, but I feel like, uh, why am I getting the impression of only child? I don't know if she has yeah, any brothers or me. sisters. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to walk on you. What? That's, that's me, only child, yeah. I see. Because they're embracing you, but I think they're embracing your mom. As if yeah, they, to yeah. say, <laughs> okay, like you're the daughter they never had. So this is a very, yeah. very close-knit family. Now, yeah. I, I I have to ask you this question, and usually I don't ask questions on mediumship unless the spirit world is trying to get a message across. Who, oh boy, who tried to commit suicide but failed? Thank God they, they, they failed at that. Who tried to harm? Me. Okay, thank God you really 
it's Radio Dave. I'm sorry. I'm really glad you're really bad at that. Okay. I, you know, starts with an S. <laughs> Sounds like duck. And I'm glad you uh, really bad at that. Okay. I know it's Radio. Yeah, we we use that word a lot in, in Ireland. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, a lot, a lot. Because I, I gotta tell you. Your loved ones on the other side are telling you that there's a purpose for you more than you know, and you're being way too hard donkey butt on your side. I don't know if I can say bad words because I think we broadcast on real real AM, FM radio, so I'm being good, Dave. I'm being good. Uh, <laughs> but um, coming back into your energy field... The spirit world is turning this message around for you, okay? So, sure, I could talk to them about their past life, which would be with you. Mm -hmm. But it's the, I feel like it's your grandmother. She says, why talk about my, our past lives? Our lives are with our granddaughter. So, you're not alone, yeah. my friend. You may think you're alone, but you're not. And I want to tell you something that I, I love to tell a lot of my clients, especially when I work at large galleries and events. And it's a story that goes that I got from Zig Ziglar, the speaker. So I'm going to give credit where credit belongs. And it's a story about a man who died and went to God. And God took him down to the hell floor. <laughs> and so he went down this elevator, opened the door up. And this man walks out, and he thinks he's going to see the devil and fire brimstone and everything. But instead, he sees this large banquet table, lots of food, and he runs over to the people, and he looks at these people, and they are sad, and they're depressed. They noticed, this man notices that these people have four-foot poles strapped to their wrist, and at the end of the four-foot pole is silverware, and they're trying to feed themselves. Unfortunately, the food is in their hair on their shoulders, and on the floor, but not in their mouth. So the man says, okay, I get it. This is hell. So then God says, come on, puts the man on the elevator and goes up to the heaven floor. And the man walks out, and he's expecting to see the pearly white gates. And instead, he sees the same people. It's the same banquet, same music, same food. He walks over to that table, and he sees the four-foot poles strapped to their wrist with silverware at the end of the wrist. But the thing is, he sees people smiling, and they're happy, and they're being fed, because they're feeding each other. Your, gra your grandmother and your grandfather are reaching out to you, and it's your job to remain open so that you can receive okay. the loving messages that they're giving you. Because there's a huge purpose in your life, and I'm very so forever grateful that you are really bad at messing up your life. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. But there's really a, bad. <laughs> <laughs> that there's an absolute reason why you came through on this reading this day at this point. Nothing wow, is very such good. That, as coincidence. I want to tell you happy birthday, by the way. I don't know if the 15th of May means something to you, the 15th, the, uh, but your grandmother's and your grandfather's energy, more so your grandmother, is saying the 15th of May or saying something about a birthday this month. Do you understand that? Uh, this month. Um, yeah, birthday has passed this month. Um, it's not my oh, birthday, though. Hmm. I see it as a five, so I feel like I should say five, five, May 5th, May 15th, May 25th, May something, something like that. Okay. okay. Um, so, yeah, a, a friend of mine passed away in May, a few years ago now, though. Headache? Headache. Really, really strong headache. So if this person passed away, it could be, a, God forbid, a gunshot, or it could be something to do with the injury to the head or a stroke. But I'm getting a very yeah, sense, it, strong oh sense of yeah. a headache. Huh? Injury to the head, yeah, definitely, yeah. Did he die on May 5th? Why am I seeing 5-5? No, five? she, she, oh, she, um, no, um, she didn't, uh, Do you, 
know if she died over upset being with a boyfriend. There's a strong yeah. thought. She's sending thoughts about a boyfriend to me. Yeah. All right. If it's not May 5th, I wonder if it's May 3rd. Um, okay. I'm stuck no, on she May. Actually, she, she, passed, she passed in, in March. Oh, was it March 5th? Um, no. Okay. I must be psychically dyslexic tonight because she is showing me five. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. okay. Um, she's also making me feel like... Uh, oh, that's the weirdest vision. I just saw her say Mickey. No. Mm -mm. She's showing me the image. Mickey Mouse. Now, does uh, does that mean she has a sense of humor? Does that mean she's an actress? Does it mean that she went to Florida? I don't know what the Mickey Mouse sensation would mean. <laughs> so, okay. But, uh, unless she's trying to tell me that M.M. means something. Mary Maureen. Uh an M, double M. Okay, hold on. You're getting a double treat today. I got a feeling you're going to get the reading for the entire prior night. But uh, <laughs> that's fine by me. You get a free reading. If the spirit world wants to stay, I'm, they roll the show. We don't. They do. <laughs> so, I, I, I feel like I'm supposed to say M, M. Like, her name could be Mary, Marine, Michelle, M. Uh, may I just ask you, what is her first name? Lorna. She's still showing me an M. And I, let me tone in this. Why are you showing me double M's? I feel like you her have two Her grandmother's name was Maymay. Who? What yeah, is her? Her grandmother's name was Maymay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm like, why am I feeling like I'm supposed to say M.M.? And your grandmother is talking to you with your grandfather. So her grandmother is holding the, the energy so that she can communicate through. I think that is so beautiful. Yeah, that's she, amazing, yeah. Um, and now I'm going to ask... Lorna, if she has a message for you. Okay, she does. She says, my pain no longer hurts anymore, and it has nothing to do with the death. So I think the pain is emotional. God forbid she drank a lot, but uh, did she have stomach yeah, problems? Did. Ruth, yeah. did she have st red stomach? She's telling me that she had terrible stomach pain that did not kill her, but it was worse than the passing, worse than the dying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm getting code numbers again. I'm seeing 127. It could be anything from January 27th to a, an address. Just seeing these numbers. Okay. Uh, there she goes with it. Look, uh, I'd play lottery if they have it in Ireland. Hey, United States, I'm getting codes. <laughs> they do, <Go> yeah. <laughs> Go play triple and box it and straight. You never know. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Uh, Lorna's pointing at her eyes. and She says, glasses? Does this make sense to you? Did you just get a new pair of glasses or eyesight? Me? No. Um, I need to get my eyes checked, maybe. <laughs> maybe get checked. I think she's pointing at glasses. Unless you've got a glasses or you have her sunglasses, she's mentioning glasses. I don't think she means okay. glasses, unless she worked at a pub and she's talking about glasses. But I'm thinking this. Oh, she, she wished she worked at a pub. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe her heaven is a pub. Maybe, probably is. <laughs> Look, she could get drunk and then uh, and let the angels drive her home to her cloud. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, all right. Th th her message to you, she says, don't be sad. And then she says, Donnie. Donnie? Donald? Donnie? Is this a boyfriend name? Uh, mm -hmm. I can think of. No. Look, if you have to think that hard, I don't think you have a boyfriend named Donnie. So, no, no, me? Me? no, I don't. No, definitely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. don't, think, you know, don't overthink it. Sometimes the name Don could be the word John. If I were okay. a 
thousand percent. You know what I mean? It's what I'm saying is mediumship is not exactly a, an exact science. Sometimes okay. a cigar is just a cigar. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I do. Ruth, I feel like the, the spirit world made you pick up the phone to call in and you got me. And I feel like this is a gift to you for your life. Now, I feel yeah. also that I'm supposed to say to you, a singer, or you write a book, or that you're going to be um, talking about Lorna's story. So, uh, okay. communicate her memoir or to her story. Honey, okay. I got another message. I'm supposed to acknowledge the woman. She's alive, so it could be your mom or you. With the foot, arch, ankle, not ankles, heel. It's heel, arch, foot, left side. I don't know if it's plantar fasciitis I'm picking up on. Or if got somebody has diabetes. I feel like I'm supposed to say it's a living person who has this health issue. Do you understand it? Okay. Uh, no. I mean, it's on the arch. I want to say heel or arch, left side. The, they're pushing on the word arch. So I'm thinking okay. I might be picking up on a, na a last name. Archer, arch, archibald, I'm reaching. But uh, I I'll let that go. So my job is not to overanalyze or I get in the way. Okay. Uh, Ruth, I got to tell you, I really love the energies of your grandmothers and Lorna's Maymay. Lorna's Maymay. Mm. Uh, uh, I feel like a nurse. I feel like I'm supposed to say she's a nurse or your grandmother was a nurse. Anyway, my energy's beginning to kind of phase out, so I know that okay. I'm getting near the end. So, Ruth, okay. thank you so much well, for calling me. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Oh, you're very, very welcome. And uh, I do look forward to hearing from you again in the future. And, uh, well, I've got the time left on my show, as many people have just saw how I work, I don't work like other psychics, mediums. I don't necessarily need to know whom you want to speak to. It, in fact, throws me off if you tell me whom you want to speak to. Who runs the show is them, not us. So if you come to me and say, like, you want to talk to your mother, and she just passed away a, three days ago, I'm just saying hypothetically, what will happen is you will get the spirit of somebody who has been dead longer, because that person who's been dead longer is the person carrying her energy. That person could have met her at the pearly white gates, if there are pearly white gates, and uh, is there so to speak, dorm host, if you will, or chaperone, until that spirit is ready to stand on their own. For example, let's say you had a 90-year-old grandmother who passed away a week ago. But then let's say you knew a friend who unfortunately had a miscarriage and that child didn't make it. That baby did or, or for, unfortunately, let's, let's say a child who was already born two to three years old may have had a tragic experience. And they died 18 years ago. Well, they're not two years old on the other side. In fact, there's really no sense of age. However, that two-year-old is older, if you will, than the 90-year-old who just died. So what will happen is I'll get the older presence first before I get the young person. It's just me. Maybe other mediums work differently. That's how I work. And uh, I just let the spirit world talk. That's why with me, you can't order it like a pizza joint. I can't order up your pepperoni, pizza, and cheese. It's You may ask for pepperoni, pizza, and cheese. You might end up with ham and pineapple. <laughs> so I just want to let you know that. Anyway, thank you for letting me educate you in the ways of the medium. <laughs> I appreciate you watching and listening to Ren and Friends Psychic Talk Radio. I'm your hostess, psychic medium, Mary Beth Wren. I can be reached at 
Mary Beth Wren, W-R-E-N-N, like the bird with two wings, W-R-E-N-N.com. Ruth, quick shout out to Dublin. Have a beautiful evening and morning. And for everybody else, thank you very much and have a great night. Don't forget, reality is what you make it. Make sure you make it the very best. I'll see you next week.